going to spew. So, what am I doing here? Why did you call me in? Well, listen, man. I don't know if you heard, but I gave stand-up comedy a try. Really? You didn't hear about it, eh? I didn't hear about it. I'm personally very hurt that I didn't get the invite to watch. I thought we were friends. You worked the 7 a.m. the next day. You needed to sleep. It's a good point. I wanted to show you separately, okay? Okay. You uh are a massive... Oh. And I might just walk back out that door. And my toughest critic. Okay, that's so. Fair. I wanted your honest opinion on my performance. Okay, I would be honored to criticize you. Oh, criticize me? Just give it to me straight. Yeah, that's criticizing. All right, let's give it a peep. Let's give it a peep. <laughs> Everyone make some noise for Jesse yes, Paul. Um, so how many people in the room are hockey fans? Yourself, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, this is kind of cringe, but I gotta warm up with a couple of hockey jokes. Um, what do you call a skeleton that cleans the ice? Your mom. Uh, a Zamboni. Okay. <laughs> what is Brad Marchand's favorite candy? A licorice! He <laughs> licks people. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and what do you call a bunch of Leafs fans at a comedy bar? Idiots. A waste of f dicks. Okay. Okay. Can we all just agree that Patrick Line is better than Austin Matthews at this point? Thank you! Thank you! Let's go! Thank you! Um, okay, does everyone here know what ulcerative colitis is? <laughs> ulcerative colitis is a long-term condition that results in inflammation in the ulcers of the colon and rectum. The primary symptoms of active disease are abdominal pain and diarrhea. I was 10 to 15 times a day when I was young. Uh, I'm gonna tell you all right now that playing hockey with colitis was very difficult for me as a kid. I'll never forget this moment. I was seven years old, and we were in the semifinals of our house league hockey game. I was playing goalie. And all of a sudden, the kid on the other team was sprung on a breakaway. Anyways, this kid's coming down on me, and I'm coming out of my crease to challenge. And then all of a sudden, I feel this fierce bowel movement take place underneath my equipment. And I'm like, oh my god, I have a decision to make here, okay? It's either I'm going to come out and challenge, and I'm going to try to make the save and f my pants for sure, or... I'm just gonna say f my teammates and sprint to the bench. And I just said, f this. I skated to the bench as fast as I f could. And the worst part was, is that when my teammates got back and I was literally cleaning sh from the bottom of my foot up to my right <laughs> cheek, they all walked in and were just like, Jesse, what the f But then when they saw that, they were just like, oh, okay, f pants, it's cool. Um, I played around a lot of psycho hockey parents when I was younger. Like, these guys would literally stand by our dressing room as we come into the dressing room at intermission and be like, Hey son, I'm like, if you don't score, you're eating dinner. It was sad, like, we'd get in the dressing room and like, everyone would be like nervous and the kid would be crying. And I, I just remember one time I went into a kid, I put my arm around him and I said, Man, like, you better score some f***ing goals next period. <laughs> so my own dad, okay, he was actually a pretty big beauty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Martin Paul, tell me you guys know him here. Love him. But one time he made such a bad mistake when I was young. My dad made me <laughs> wear these f***ing glasses when I was f***ing going through puberty and playing hockey. Look at me! <laughs> he wanted to buy these in f***ing camo. So I looked like I was in the f***ing army. I look like a crossbreed between Miss Warner and Bubbles right now. Like, what the f*** is this? Anyways, I'm sorry. A lot of you probably are just like, what the f***? This kid sucks at stand-up. So I'm going to leave you with a little thing that I... My only talent, I do. Everyone like Cher here? Does everyone like Cher? Does anyone want to hear me do a Cher impersonation? Yes. Yes. Do it! Give the people what they want. I will give the people what they want. I don't think I gave them what they want the past five minutes. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching, you squids. So what'd you think? <laughs> it's a lot to digest, my friend. The first thing I noticed immediately, man, you swear a lot. I was nervous! Okay. I was <laughs> nervous! That's what I figured. So when you're nervous, you just swear a lot. You don't say. <laughs> would have never guessed. Next. I'm, well, let me finish. You swearing a lot, I feel like it took away from some of the delivery of some of the joke. No, I know. You don't think I stressed about this after the oh, show? No, I was I... freaking out. 
<laughs> you asked me. Okay. For my okay. honest opinion. Okay. You're right. I'm just giving it to you. You're right. Next. Next. Okay. I wasn't done with that one quite yet. Guys just shredding me over here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next thing. Like, what was that girl doing? Waving at you? Why was she waving at you? <laughs> like, what the f This kid sucks at stand up. It means that the show is done and I have to wrap up. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but, I, but, but I put my glasses on and I couldn't see oh, her. Oh, man. She was like waggling and I, was, <laughs> I couldn't see anyone in the room. You had no concept of time. It was my first time. <laughs> <laughs> math was never my thing, okay? You don't need math. Just look at her! The mathematics, mathematics, mathematics. Mathematics. That <laughs> oh wasn't my, my thing, okay? Next, the share joke. It's okay. Share's great. My dad loves share. I love share. <laughs> and it's basically the only real talent I have. <laughs> no! Alright, well then, give me the good. Some of the jokes are funny. I actually enjoyed a few of the jokes. It's not easy to, like, make sports jokes. Standing and cheering and yelling for your clothes to beat the clothes from another city. So I like the Brad Marchand one. Okay. Licorice! <laughs> Licks people. That was funny, but overall, overall, I'd give it like, what are we doing? Letter grade? What do you want? No, a grade out of 10? Out of 10. Out of 10? Okay. I'll give it a six. It's above oh. average. It's not a fail. I was like, kind of funny. Yeah, you were, yeah. you were kind of funny. There were some jokes that didn't hit, but man, for the most part, like, hats off to you. I, I commend you for getting up there. This guy. And for spreading joy and laughter to the world and, and the children and adults of this awful city of Toronto. Well done. Well Thanks, done. bro. Thank you. Good job, Mitch.